Okay. Hey, so we're going to talk about basically tips on how to go vegan for the people who are interested or curious on how that might go. I know a couple of people, I've actually had several people tell me that they're trying to go vegan and ask for tips. And... Okay. You talk? <laughs> You're distracting. Um, so I just wanted to talk, have an open dialogue about that. Okay. So <laughs> we used to eat meat like every day with dinner at least. Mm -hmm. And um I feel like we were talking about this. I don't know why. Okay. It's your lifestyle. You feel it about your lifestyle? I know. I don't, I don't think I've ever really talked about it from mm -hmm. the beginning to now. Um, we used to eat meat pretty much every day. And so what we did was, well, what I did, because he just went vegan. Um, he went vegan last month, the beginning of last month. Um, what I did was, I cooked most of the meals, so... Most of the meals were vegan, and so he was eating vegan, mostly vegetarian, for quite a while. But what I did was I stopped cooking meat every day. And it went from, like, every day to three times a week. And I just continued to dwindle it down. So we went from three times a week to once on the weekends. And then... <laughs> Once we got that down, it was from once on the weekends to one, two, twice a month. So instead of four weekends, it was twice, two weekends out of the month. Then it went down to one weekend a month. Then eventually, we just didn't do it at all. I just didn't cook meat at all. And he was consistently still eating goat cheese and eggs, but I wasn't. And chicken um, wings. You randomly ate chicken, chicken wings. wings. That wings. wasn't okay. And cheese so pizza. Every once in a while. Oh yeah, you were still eating cheese pizza. And macaroni and cheese. And macaroni and cheese. So he was essentially vegetarian for a while before he went vegan. Um, with random sport spurts of eating meat. Okay, okay. So um So yeah. It's a lifestyle change if you haven't done it yet. Hey Cece. Um, it's a lifestyle change and with anything, it's better to take your time with it. So I was going vegan before I ever got pregnant with Naeem. I was going vegan for a good, probably nine months before I got pregnant with Naeem. And That's a for me. How do you feel? Am I Mr. You must be. This is um, Dre. <laughs> how do I feel like tonight or... He's probably talking about being vegan. He? That's a good thing. I think. I can't tell. I feel good. <laughs> and healthy. That's all you're going to say. And light. <laughs> you're going to have to ask a more specific mm -hmm. question. <laughs> Overall. I feel good. <laughs> So you're laughing because I feel great? I can't. I can't. And it feels so good. Okay. What was I saying? Um. What was I talking about? You want to be? Yeah. I'm going to fight. Okay. Um. So I started going vegan in 2015 and I didn't go completely vegan until January 27, 2007. 16. So it took me over a year to go fully vegan. Mm -hmm. So it's a transition and it's not something you should rush into because if you do it too quickly, you may revert back and not go back to it. Um, going slow. Yeah, it's a lifestyle change. You, take, you, oh. <laughs> you take your time with it. Um, no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> But um, the way that you go about that is that you take the things that you used to love to eat because what you don't want to do is make you feel like you're depriving yourself because then you'll hate it. 
and you won't want to stick with it like anything. You got to make it fun. You got to make it interesting. You got to make it something you enjoy. So you take things that you used to eat and veganize it. You make it, try to figure out how you can make it vegan. Um, we just made vegan lasagna. I used to love eating lasagna and it was banging. Um, macaroni, something that he loves to eat. So we figured out how to make it vegan. You take whatever it is that you love to eat and figure out how to make it vegan. You don't, the a thing that I see a lot of is um, these fortified foods and I'm going to go back to that. Soy. Uh, just because you're a vegan does not mean you you eat a ton of soy and a ton of beans. We don't either eat either on a regular or any type of specific basis. I have a lot of beans that I have not cooked. Um, and we just don't really do soy. Soy is too estrogenic and my hormones don't don't play well with soy. Um, and it gives guys... Like gynecomastia. It can, it can affect respect. men. It can affect men in negative ways as well. So just that's a common misconception that you need soy. You use soy this, soy that. And then there's a lot of issues with soy in America. So um, that's a no. But uh, what was the other thing? Soy and fortified foods. I'm not even going to touch on that because I don't, I don't feel like uh, that would take another 30 minutes. Uh, short, long story short, we don't do fortified foods. It's a bunch of synthetic vitamins. Your body doesn't know what to do with it. It either gets stored as a, as a fat or it gets excreted. It's pointless. You want vitamins? Intake whole foods. Not the store. Whole foods that you get that are grown out the ground the way that they came. Hello. Um. But yeah. Okay. So replacing whatever it is that you used to eat that's vegan. There's a lot of vegan options for pretty much everything. Hi, I don't know how to say anybody's name, so I'm not going to disrespect you. I'm no, just going to no, respond no, no, no. and say, hey. Explore 37 and but, Blinda see, I'm Nicole. Not gonna, I'm not going to mess her name. Blinda, mess their name Blinda and Nicole. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hi, welcome to our live. You're... We're talking about going vegan. Um... Okay, so, so what? No. So it uh, it took both of us a while to go vegan, but like I said, it's a lifestyle change. Change. Take your time with it. Make sure you do as much research and get like a good stash of recipes. And even before you go completely vegan, start making vegan stuff. So you already have a stash of recipes that you know work, so you don't have to revert back to non-vegan foods. So cook a vegan meal once a week uh, and then con like consistently add more vegan meals to your diet and then eventually go completely vegan. Take your time, make sure you got a good stash of recipes and things that you like to eat. Don't overwhelm yourself because anything that's overwhelming is going to be less likely to be For you to stick with um hey the wondering bee said hey lovely couple hey you should do a little face like this now <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah okay so he just went vegan on the first world vegan day mm -hmm. slash world november. vegan month november 1st and um since he has went vegan it has made it a little bit easier for me because we're both on the same diet plan pretty much he was he was eating everything i was cooking but he would still sometimes add goat cheese or something to stuff or eat eggs or whatever and um one lifesaver um that happened for me is i saw a <laughs> you saw what <laughs> i saw a recipe for vegan eggs now i don't like the i'm not a i'm not one of those I'm not a person that likes the, um, a lot of the vegan store-bought stuff like vegan eggs or the vegan butter or tofu whatever, scramble. tofu scramble. No, the, it's, a lot of it has a lot of agree, ingredients that I don't agree with and don't rock with. So I figure out how to make stuff myself. So I make my cheeses, I make my eggs. And one thing I found out about 
chickpea flour is you can make vegan eggs with it and that was clutch and we eat it so much now. I make a rather ravishing chickpea omelet. <laughs> It's okay. It's good. It's good. I'm not, I'm not knocking him. He's just silly. Um, Chef Dre R D I. <laughs> but yeah. So there's another thing about um, being vegan that I've seen a lot of common misconceptions about it being more expensive to go vegan. It may be more expensive if you go and get all of these processed vegan foods, but if you eat whole foods. A lot of whole foods like you go to the bulk section and pretty much when you're vegan the ways to keep it cheap and to keep it um, nutrient dense plenty of micronutrients is to eat whole foods so stay in the produce section and stay in the bulk section get a lot of grains and a lot of fruits and veggies and you won't spend a lot of money we spend a clean hundred less than what we spent when we used to eat organic meat so that's how much you're already on the phone with me. I mean on the thing with me. That's how much less we spend on in groceries. And we spend a lot of money in groceries. Um, but that's that's what comes with eating organic. Um what else? What's another vegan misconception thing? Not hmm. misconception. Like, okay, so I said the thing about the soy, the beans. Oh, a lot of people who go vegan for the first time, they experience like a lot of gas. And the thing about that is your body, your digestive tract is getting used to eating whatever it is you switch because it's not everybody's well, vegan. It's vegan is different. high in fiber, which yeah. causes an offset in the body. It's like a chemical reaction. Which is flooding out toxins, which causes gas. Yeah, it's a lot of yeah. it's a lot of change in your digestive tract. We so used one to make thing, vegan butter, coconut oil, and we don't make vegan butter. We just use coconut oil. Yeah, coconut oil has a. It works just fine. A lot. I see a lot of recipes that say vegan butter, vegan, but spread or whatever. I just use coconut oil. It works perfect. It's a great substitute. Um. What was I saying? I need you. To bring it together. Because you know I get sidetracked easily. Oh. Uh, um, Squirrel. <clears throat> so natural organic restaurant. Hmm? Hmm. That's in Texas. And if we lived there, I would come and visit you guys. <laughs> Can you send us a menu? Can you send us some food? I'm quite curious. Um, <laughs> tell me about your name intrigues me. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I don't remember how I found their uh, Instagram, but yeah. So Natural Organic Restaurant is, I believe it's in Texas, somewhere in Texas. I don't want to say the wrong city, so I'm not. But their food was good. And if we lived there, we would go there. And we probably will if we ever go to Texas. Um, Which part of Texas? Texas is pretty I don't good. remember. I want to say it was, it's probably not Houston because that's what I want to say and it's probably not that city. I don't know. Hey, so not sure again a restaurant. Where are you located? <laughs> it's delayed. Is it? Yeah, it's delayed. So it's probably going to take them a second to respond. See, count the seconds that it takes for that to happen. All right, where's your... Oh, just happened. There we go. Y'all been trying to convert for three years? What happened? What's going on? What's the... Three years of setback, obviously. <laughs> what's, what's, what's taking... Is, what's it, is it your situation? husband's fault or is it y'all fault? Because it was my fault for us to go fully vegan. He didn't... He doesn't like change. And, and on the other end, I'm on the other end. When I find out something's better, I do a lot of research on it. And then I, I make the move to change it. So I did a lot of research on vegan. Okay, so that's another thing I wanted to bring up. There is, there are a lot of people on both sides promoting veganism and promoting um, non-veganism. Konnichiwa. 
So I know I know who that is. Oh. <laughs> she speaks Japanese. Mm -hmm. I was just talking to her earlier. So um the reason I decided to go vegan and then I eventually had our had Kyrie go vegan. Naim was born and he was vegan. He just didn't have a choice. He just was born into it. Um, mm. I did a lot of research when I was in school for nutrition about diet related diseases and diet related um, populations and which populations were healthier and which populations had the highest risk of certain diseases. And a lot of the populations that had a high intake Hey, from Dallas. Um, a lot of the, the countries that had a high intake of meat, dairy, and cheese and all the animal products, they had a high correlation to everything heart-related, heart disease, strokes, etc., etc. So that, that was one of the reasons I went vegan. Now... I decided purely on health reasons because I was going to school for nutrition, so I was researching the health health side of everything. But then I started looking at these videos of these animals and the way that they're treated. In the um, hand me my kombucha. In the uh, in the factories that they're growing in and everything, and it just solidified it, the how I felt about going vegan. When we were talking about um the gas that people get when they go vegan because of the way it affects the digestive system. This is, I can't see it yet. Let me see. This is a remedy. This kombucha. Is laid on your lab. You think so? Kombucha has a lot of probiotics in it and it helps, it helps you digest food easier it's got it's a lot of benefits to kombucha and i'm not gonna go into it because i can't list everything off right now but you, but look it up because kombucha is amazing and this kombucha i can't speak for every kombucha but this kombucha is good this is by gts synergy kombucha people, kombucha people? Yeah. they sell it at whole foods Our some family. targets have it Publix carries it I think Walmart has it. Okay. I want you to talk about... Mm -mm. No, it's your turn. I said a lot of stuff. It's your turn now. We do only cook vegan at home, though. So did I miss what she said before that? Is it an issue for you eating vegan out in public? Simply natural. Is that why you only cook vegan at home? Because you can veganize a lot of things. I Some of these vegan restaurants I just can't rock with because they do a lot of soy. But you can veganize a lot of stuff. Are you waiting on her response? I kind of was, but I don't know how long it's going to take because <laughs> it's delayed. So if you go ahead and talk about. Okay. What did I just say? Listen, okay. I said everything I had to say. I don't know what you to say. It's been hard while pregnant to avoid soy. What do you, what's, why? Why, what's, what is, um, what has soy in it that you're intaking? You know that? Just snack on strawberries. Okay. Well, I mean, what? Do you want me to tell them about how you went vegan or you want to tell them? I went vegan. I like go vegan. How did you go vegan? Because you cooked and I ate it. <laughs> many of the vegan restaurants have many. I know. That's You know what? That's why I thought you were going. Um. 
Yeah, I can't speak on that. Um, we don't have any restaurants here that are organic and vegan. So we don't eat out here. Um, we don't eat out when we go to Atlanta. But I have been to restaurants. That is correct. You should. I wouldn't say you have to completely get rid of soy, but we very minimum intake. We use soy sauce and what is the other thing? The stuff I had you get at the store that you was like, where is it at? Hmm. Hmm? It's, uh, it's fermented. Oh, she in Atlanta. She Gucci, bro. She's in Atlanta. Yeah. Yeah. Where are you going in Atlanta? Irving and Fix. Irving and Fix has some dishes that don't have, um. Yeah, what's the, I'm going to put True Foods, right? True Foods. I'm going to type them all in. True Foods has some vegan stuff. Yeah, but they got enough where you can eat there. Pizzas, yeah. mostly. What about R. Thomas? I don't know. R. Thomas, is, they give me weird. What's stuff. the place you go whenever you usually go? Oh, the Thai restaurant? Oh, yeah, the Thai place. What's that? Le Thai. L-T- what? L-T-H-A-I? Yeah. Miso. Miso is the other soy thing that we eat, but we use that for... um. We don't use that often. Yeah, Chicago Bulls. Whole time it's on the six game winning streak. Just, just pop up on my things. Let everybody know. Liquid aminos, yeah. We have those too. Oh, Christ, bro. Christ so the bro. thing I don't have any issues with soy sauce is because it's fermented. So the thing about soy is if it's fermented, it has less phytic acid. And that's one of the issues with soy. What did she say? Restaurants. Mm. I love Seven Onda. How do you feel about Yeah Burger? I haven't been the soul vegan. Yeah Burger. Fries. Yeah yes. Burger has fries. You're not way uh, Yeah Burger has fries, but. Hmm. They went out, fry it out. All right. Yeah Burger has fries, but we cook a lot at home. Um, it saves money to cook at home and just meal for it. Yeah, that's another way to save money. To cook a lot at home. We don't have to go out and eat every night. Um, we can, we don't have a choice, though. Okay, what? No, no, no. no. <laughs> we talked about it a lot. You didn't even say... You didn't say, say, you didn't say about how you feel about going vegan. I did. I said I feel good. I feel great. I decided to go vegan mainly because she was already vegan. And, uh, like, family wise, got like blood pressure and had a lot of joint issues and stuff. Which a lot of my joint pain is gone now, actually, in a month. Lost like 12 pounds, I think, in a month as soon as I went vegan. Uh, just, I mean, I feel better, lighter. Um, I still have a very bad shoulder and knee, but I don't have issues with it anymore, which is funny how they change in one month. Also, I think my skin, I have bad eczema, and I think it's helped my skin a lot. Uh, I went vegan November 1st. She's been vegan since January. Kyrie, our name will be two years old next month, and I'll be, yeah, I'll January be two years vegan next month. Yeah. Yeah, man. Uh, no. Oh. So, yeah. What? No, Did we on. answer everything? I don't know. Because. Did it start over? Yeah. I don't think we missed something. That person asked the question we answered. Okay. I just did that to see the comments. I can't you see can. them anymore. Um, vegan versus paleo. Um, I can't do pa What's paleo. Paleo, paleo is that. like no sugar, no carbs. Oh, nah. See, <laughs> I work out too much and I can't. Nah, I need the sugars and carbs for energy. I can't do it. I don't have any issue with sugar. I don't eat white sugar we use coconut sugar and maple syrup and dates 
But those are, see, those are healthy. The thing about sugars is, is we're not using processed sugars or bleached or anything. We're using raw coconut sugar, which I think that diet is based off, I guess, the bullcrap sugar. I don't think it's based off. I don't know. Huh? There's a lot of comments. I will try to catch this from over here. She says she really tries to catch you when you're cooking because she doesn't know where to start. And my son is vegan since birth. Oh, that's, that's dope. That your son has been vegan since birth. So it's naive. What was the other one? Honey. Honey is not vegan. Honey's not vegan. Honey is not vegan. There's a lot of health benefits to honey, but honey is not vegan, so we don't consume it. I still eat it sometimes. No, you don't. Okay, I never had it. <laughs> <laughs> what was the the Nothing one else. before that? Okay, she tries to catch me. So I post I post recipes That's on my website when I finally get them together. But you can DM me and I we could talk. He said he's seen uh, posts about paleo elimination diet for eczema. Right. So, mm -hmm. vegan can help with elimination diet for eczema, too. I had to do an elimination diet with Kyrie, my oldest, because he had between 10 and 15 different allergies. And we found that out when he was six months and he had eczema right here behind his knees um, on his face. He Right here, he was scratched the worst. And it was dark and oozing and black. And, um, oh my god, I meant to say bleeding. That is good. I know, I've never had that one. <laughs> I know, that tickles the soul a little bit. That's a, okay. That's so, good. yeah, we did it. I did an elimination diet <laughs> with Kyrie. I went to an allergist, it's decent as hell. <laughs> I went to an allergist, and they told me he was allergic to all these different things. And he was like, Yeah, you can cycle him out of your diet. And I was like, no, I, he's been struggling since he was born dealing with this. So I'm just going to stop eating all of it. They tried to get me to do um, all the steroid creams. And I was just like, that just doesn't even sound right. Like people get kicked out of all kinds of sports for using steroids. Why would I put it on my child? So I didn't. And I. There's a level. It's a, it's I don't a care. It time. didn't sound right to me. So I st steer clear of it. I'm going to steer clear of this live here. No, no you're not. Yeah. We met, where did all the comments go? I don't know. I f I'm sorry if I missed your comment. It's, it's not showing up. Um, But yeah. So I feel like you need carbs to, for energy. Mm. You do. Think well, about when you used to juice. You remember the juice. No, think about when you used to I juice. Didn't, I didn't juice with fats in my... Man. That's a carb. Oh. Uh, <laughs> no, nuts are carbs. Okay, you got carbs, fats, and sugars. But it, but fats are part of energy, though. Carbs and um, fat is energy. Intolerance versus allergies. Intolerance can cause eczema, too. Agreed. To help me transition. Oh, Lord. Oh, 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 <laughs> Come oh, back up. <laughs> what foods do you eat to transition to vegan? Any food that you eat? We, we, said we take the meat and dairy from it. Yeah. We eat pancakes on the weekends, muffins, cinnamon rolls. Lasagna, cinnamon rolls. Throughout the week, we eat a lot of fruit. In the morning, I, I make a big bowl with Ezekiel bread, mangoes, spinach. Um, hemp seeds, sunflower seeds, mm -hmm. avocado, mm -hmm. and some maple syrup. And I mix it all together and I eat it. My breakfast and is a kids, smoothie. What do you put in your smoothie? My smoothie consists of a vegan protein, I think hemp seeds, whatever seeds you use in there. That's why I'm having that? Yep. Uh, <laughs> mixed fruits. And sometimes I use spinach, depending if I got hemp seeds or not. But yeah, this is the protein. Because like I said, I work out. That body goes, you know, uh, and uh, fruit. So I, I typically try to intermittent fast. I don't eat past seven, and I try not to eat anything until after eleven. So, which is I think has also helped me with weight loss and congestion and digestion issues. Uh, I think the answer is the food to transition to vegan. Well, but yeah, spaghetti. I mean, it's, we everything, eat everything. Yeah, everything that people normally eat, we just remove the meat and dairy from it. The meat or remove the meat altogether. Um, what do you do at family gatherings? We bring our own stuff. But, you, actually, for Thanksgiving, we just cooked our own Thanksgiving meal. And everybody say what they ate. I mean, it was simple. 
our families, both of our families are very um, supportive of accommodating when it comes to being vegan. His family um, bought some stuff for us, so we would have food and made us some vegan stuff. And my family does the same thing. Uh, what were some food items he was allergic to your oldest? Everything under the freaking uh, cinnamon, <laughs> chicken, eggs, coffee, um, <laughs> wife. <laughs> He was allergic to everything. Cow's milk, uh, goat milk, um, uh, some type of fish. It wasn't salmon. It was another type of fish. It was a long list of stuff I had to stop eating. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> I'm trying to think of what else was Matt kind of allergic for? Too, like, I think that's why I keep, I keep asking him why for some reason. We need to get a cover for your phone again. Um, what were some other things kind of allergic to? It's so good. Right? Damn. It's like a, <laughs> it tastes like pink lemonade. It's amazing. Pink lemonade. That's what it reminds me of. I wouldn't say it tastes like that, but. No, it does. Does it? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Like it's a carbonated good. thing, like it's really good. Um, a vegan meal plan. It's funny you mention that on my website. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It sounds like a good idea, but people, I, mm, I don't like doing stuff like that because people, what works for me isn't gonna work for you. Well, that's why you people modify. I mean, you can do it with recipes. I mean, people modify. That's with, you know. part of the reason I didn't continue. Um, <laughs> that's part of the reason I didn't continue with becoming a nutritionist. I just, I don't feel like putting all this work into this, and you're gonna be like, oh, it didn't work for me. Okay, I didn't even try. It's easy to make your own. Yeah, we actually bought some stuff to make our own kombucha. We just never did it. <laughs> it's easy to walk in the store and see. It's easy to walk in the store and just see it and grab it. <laughs> but have you had this guava kombucha, right? It's delicious. It's amazing. I've seen a lot of people they make their own, and I have I have a yoga yogurt starter starter kit, and I have a kombucha starter kit. I just haven't done it yet. But uh, you want to drop the link on how to make it? Feel free. <laughs> I don't know about all that mm, because what the thing about it is. Me and the boys, they we eat fruit majority of the day. Um, we don't. I don't make like a big spread. We don't do big spreads until the weekend. And I don't really eat. <laughs> yeah, so I we, drink my shake and eat fruits and take whatever we have for dinner for lunch. And so I don't know about making my food. appetite has gone down. So it seems like a lot, but you really. Just want to snap. I don't really care for big meals anymore. So yeah, works for me. Me either. We uh, me and me, Kyrie and Naeem. Like I don't know if you if you've seen my what is it in stories. I used to call it Insta snaps, but my stories. You see me post like a picture and it'll say snaps, uh, snacks, and it'll just be like a big bowl of fruit because we snack on fruit majority of the day. Some of the original in your food kombucha. Some of the original. Some of the original. Yeah. Oh, original kombucha. Yeah. Flavor. Oh, okay. But how do you do flavors? How did they put the flavor in this? I think they just put juice in it. Yeah, it's got juice in it. Guava puree. I'm gonna have to try it because we drink kombucha too much. I, I eat healthy too, but you know, I don't know if you include me in that. That's what's up. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, we all eat healthy. Um. Mm -hmm. It's about time to wrap this up. Fruit is a good start. Fruit is a good start. Fruit is an easy start. Um, I don't have to fight with the kids about eating healthy because that's all they know it will make its own Scooby okay I've heard that 
I just, I guess I just need to try it. The making our own kombucha, but like name, name and Kyrie will eat straight spinach by itself because they just simply natural self control is a must. Yeah, especially when you go to work and you smell everybody you need burgers. Oh but, yeah, but. So, a lot, a lot of fast food restaurants make me feel like I'm gonna throw up when I smell it now. I I never ate bacon before I went vegan, and we went to his family's house. I'm so sorry to hear that. We <laughs> went to his family's house for Thanksgiving, and somebody was cooking bacon, and it made me sick. I couldn't stand the smell of it. I had to leave the kitchen and go downstairs. It was too much for me. I absolutely do fear that somebody feeding my child something that's not vegan because it will make them sick. I've accidentally eaten something that was not vegan and I was sick for a straight week. Um, But that's why I'm very strict on who can be around or... Why does somebody just give the kids? Yeah, I guess I'll kid, People do yeah. try to give the kids stuff to eat and I'm like, no, they can't have that. Real quick. Don't give up. You can do it. <laughs> hey. Oh. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> um, what was I saying? But no, for uh, the kids, somebody eating, giving the kids food. I don't have them around too many people that don't know that we're not vegan. Um, and when we do go out, if the kids are around someone, they're typically not. But if they're around someone who isn't, Nine's typically wrapped to my back, so you're gonna have a good time trying to give him something to eat and. Kyrie will be like, is that vegan? Is it organic? Kyrie is on it. And I really, I'm glad that he's like that. Hey, the person that said that they give up, think of all your favorite meals that you can just Google vegan. Yeah. Cheese steak. I mean. Vegan, whatever it is. Whatever it is. Whatever it is. Vegan and then the food that you want to eat. And it'll go a long way. Guys, I'm going to put this air fryer to the test. Yeah, my kids don't eat candy. We don't eat candy either. We don't eat candy either. Um, Kyrie gets hype about cake, but he gets hype about grapes. So they and love grapes. Like they candy. love grapes. Grapes is like candy for them. So um, fruit. They just get hype about eating food for real. <laughs> so, I'm gonna out and take a scoop of this for us and just eat it. And that's because they haven't really been exposed to eating a lot of candy and whatever. <laughs> whatever else that isn't really healthy for them to eat. I don't like when people try to I can't say that. I don't like when say I don't like when people try to give my babies food, but I don't like when people try to question me after I'm like, no, no thank you. Like just leave it at that. They think they like it, but they never eat it. But never eat it. We make we make vegan cheese too. And it's bomb. Oh, what was that yesterday? Hmm? Was, what did we eat yesterday? Or was that was yesterday? We made lasagna today. What was yesterday? Did we just eat some Oh, vegan? sweet and sour mushrooms. Right? Oh, no, I was thinking, what was the cheese? Oh, never mind. Favorite vegan meal? I don't know. Because mm. we've been trying a lot of stuff lately. Mine is. Jackfruit and cheese is like a what's it compared to? Like a like a sloppy joe with cheese almost. But do use like a barbecue jackfruit. Jackfruit is a like a I don't know how you explain jackfruit. Jackfruit like is meat. a fruit. It's a fruit. But it's like shredded it's, it's chicken. It's like shredded chicken when you cut it when up. When you cook it. So like you make that a barbecue and then throw some cheese on it and then like make some fries to go with it. That's my favorite. It's so hard, but I know it's worth it. It is worth it. Precious lots. I got joint pain. And it I'm is more flexible. Hard. And it's, it's like I said at the beginning of this, it takes time and give yourself grace. It takes time. Give yourself grace and realize that it's a lifestyle transition. So it's going to take a while to, to get fully into it and completely do it. I, hmm, let me see. I took over a year to go vegan. So... Mac and cheese, so I had to come up with some hacks because of eggs. And mac and cheese was my favorite meal. Before, <laughs> like I would, I can eat mac and cheese for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I know the feeling. Favorite 
vegan. When you said you so, yours was sloppy Joe, I don't know. Well, I it's like a sloppy. I don't know what you call it. I mean, I guess it's more like a barbecue dish, and we put it on a sandwich, make the vegan cheese, and I some love, fries with it. I love green curry. <laughs> That's what I love. I love green curry, vegan, vegan green that curry. That lasagna made tonight, Mike. That Just lasagna that I made tonight, I don't like the way the pictures came out, but that was bomb. That was bomb. Um, don't let, don't let a misstep of you, what was it? What did she say? She'll try it for a week and fall off. And then I give up. Don't let a, a mis misstep and going be if that's your goal, don't let a misstep. What you doing? Are you coming back? Yeah. <laughs> don't let a misstep make you quit. Say something. Say something. The word. Okay. See, it's live. It's live on my phone. But what was I saying? He's more concerned about a game that's on TV right now. So I'm going to end this soon. But don't let a misstep step make you quit. It's a lifestyle change. It takes a while. Get a good arsenal of recipes that you like. Um, replacing whatever it is that you ate that was not vegan. And take your time with it and give yourself grace. Because it's not easy. It's not easy. Especially if you wasn't raised like this. Especially if you have family who is like against it. Because at first my family was like, eh. Still trying to give my kids stuff that wasn't vegan. My family don't believe Drake's vegan. Mm -hmm. He can't. Do what? I don't believe that I've been vegan. That his family doesn't believe that he's really vegan. Um, They're probably waiting on you to stop being vegan. But what was I saying? You threw me off what I was saying. I had a whole little speech. <laughs> oh, was you hitting the punchline? Yeah. I was hitting, yeah. I was hitting, I was hitting points. The credits was rolling. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> It's a transition. It takes time. Give yourself grace. Get a nice stock of recipes. And before you go through, go all the way through it and say you're fully vegan, make sure that you stocked up. Like make a meal plan. If you, for us, we go to the grocery store every two weeks. So I will write out a meal plan of what we're going to eat for the next two weeks of vegan food. And when you get to the point where you can do that, like write a meal plan out. <sighs> That'll make it easier for you to go vegan too because you're not worried about well, what am I going to eat? How can I make this vegan? Blah, 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 blah. Planning is a big step when it comes to being vegan, especially if you're in a city like the one we're in and going out to eat isn't an option and isn't easily done. Take it from this pan. Um... <laughs> if you're working oh that's what it was I'm gonna be in Japan no I wanted you to say I am going to Japan actually. okay but I wanted you to talk about how you make vegan because I make veganism work for being at home I already kids. said it say I said I take dinner from the previous night for lunch I make a smoothie for the morning and take some fruits to eat on during the day I mean it don't take much for me to be full now so it works for me it's kind of easy, actually. It's not really. Yeah, much to it. since going mm -hmm. vegan, I have I. I didn't have like I had me. My intake was always either I ate a little bit or I ate a lot, and since I've been vegan, it's kind of balanced out, and I don't do either. I'm pretty moderate with my intake. Um. Dre has said that he feels more light, and he doesn't doesn't feel like super full. More flexible now. Yeah. Like Super cool. Pain. Like, you know, when you eat something, you get the itis and you're just like, oh, that was too much. I got to go sleep it off. It's if you eat. Keep telling me I'm just going to stop talking. <laughs> if you eat, well, I can't say if you eat vegan, that won't happen. But what our experience is, because of the way that we do eat vegan, it doesn't, we don't have that issue anymore. What does it say? Mm -hmm. Huge sugar addiction. I'm trying to break. I know my journey will not be easy, but for my kids and myself, it's not worth it. Oh, that's great. I have, <laughs> I have a thing for sugar too. We also eat cookies, brownies, 
What does what she mean? She, I mean, cakes, cupcakes. <laughs> this doesn't help. She said she has an addiction. She's trying to let like go of it. And we're telling her all the stuff we can make. The me. healthier <laughs> version. I'm just saying, you got coconut <laughs> sugar, which you can replace with regular sugar. Okay. We, I've done vegan cheesecake, brownies, cup, uh, cupcakes, cake. Um, I've done apple pie, apple pecan pie, pie plum, kim pie. Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, you can make plenty of desserts vegan. But uh, what you can do is the things that you like that are um, precious lots. The things that you like that are high in sugar. Like, name some things that you like to eat. Because you can make these things with, like, dates. And it'll still have that sh sweetness. Dates is, dates is definitely Dates are sweet. But it's not high in... It's not going to raise your glycemic level as much as regular white sugar will. So it's is actually more beneficial, especially if you're diabetic. Um, what was I saying? But, okay, so like the cheesecake that I, no, it wasn't the cheesecake. No, the cheesecake that I made was, it was sweetened by dates. It was sweetened by dates. So, um, and then maple syrup is also low, low glycemic, stevia. We don't, I don't use stevia. It has a strange aftertaste for me, but stevia is a sweetener. It's a good low glycemic sweetener. Stevia, coconut sugar. I don't remember if agave nectar was low glycemic. I believe it was. Um, dates. I think they have date syrup. I will put it on YouTube. Um, she said to put the video on YouTube. Mm -hmm. But there are ways to make things sweet without using a lot of sugar and help you cut your, your sugar cravings. I used to crave sugary stuff every day around 3 or 4 o'clock. And I had to slowly pull myself away from that. It was, that's usually when I would get tired and I'm like, uh, oh, the day is almost over. The kids are doing everything in life and I just want to nap. And that's when I would crave sugar. Drink all of it. I'm going to get another one. So, actually, drinking kombucha actually helped me cra crave that song because I used to like to eat something sweet at night, too. So, instead, I grab a kombucha. I replace it with something else that you like. The sugary stuff that you really like, replace it with something else that's healthier for you. No problem. Um... I feel like that's weird that I just said that because you know I just read your comment that said thank you. I said no problem. <laughs> um, but yeah, replace it with something, whether it's tea or kombucha or whatever. Replace it with something and try to replace it with something that's of higher nutrient content. So this is pretty nutritious for you. Um, tea would be pretty nutritious. What else? What else? What else? What else? All right. Um, I thank everybody for coming through for live. Any last minute questions? It's a minute window. That's about how delayed it is. Mm -hmm. A minute. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I will post this up on my YouTube. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. if you have any more questions, mm -hmm. and I don't get to answer them before we end it, end it. Uh, drop them. Drop a drop a message in my DM, or if you see this on YouTube, drop a quick a comment in the comment section. Um, What's your YouTube? A natural minded mama. The link to my YouTube is in my Instagram bio. And it's a natural minded mama on YouTube. Thank you. So, is there a picture like a galaxy? I can't tell. All right. Well, I don't. It looks like nobody else had anything to say. Hey. So, uh, all right. Well, we're gonna say good night. Y'all have a good. What's today? Monday. Yes. Y'all have a good Monday night. night. Yes. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm. Say bye. Bye. <laughs> Night, night.